Hi everyone and uh, welcome to this tutorial on how to remove DRM restriction from the Kindle ebooks that you buy off the Amazon website. And I found this very uh, small application, it's so powerful and so easy to use. So um, we can get started by downloading the application which comes in a, a package which link uh, I've uploaded for you all right over the internet so you can download the whole package and once you get the package you can go down here into your downloads folder or wherever um, your downloads go and open up the application I'm going to open them up in the finder and the application you'll download it's the zip file inside the zip file once you unzip it to open up this folder and within these folders there's lots of other folders um, the reason being is that uh, there are lots of different different uh, applications depending on how do you want to remove the DRM uh, for the purpose of this tutorial we are going to use specifically this one application which is called D DRM for Macs and for Mac and Windows so we click on that and then we are gonna unzip this application here. I'm using Mac so I'm gonna unzip this but if you guys are using Windows you have this Win application for Windows. Uh, so let me just go ahead and unzip it. There you go. So once you unzip it you've got this nice little icon that you just need to drag and drop it into your application folder. Now you need to configure your, your application. Find out your Kindle device serial number. All right. On the home screen you need to press menu and then you have different options. You select settings and um, you've got information about your device uh, you need to take down the serial number All right. take note of that okay so once you got your serial number you go to this web page over here Okay, and you key in your serial, your reader, your ebook reader serial number in capital letters. This is very important. You do it in capital letters. Okay, so I'm gonna key in this number. I'm gonna click calculate. It's gonna give you this message. So type unknown Kindle model please report but it's going to give you the PID number of your ebook this is the number you need all right so you need to two things you need your serial number uh, in order to calculate your PID okay once you got the number you open up the application folder now we click on DDRM 2.6 and we're going to configure it so obviously I'm not gonna let you see my PID's number not even my serial number for obvious reasons uh, but all you need to do here is to add the PID that you just calculated using your serial number and then uh, you you click add in my case 
uh, I click no more because I, I already did that next step would be to in, to type in your uh, serial number and then click add and then it gives us a message here about uh, enter entering any e-reader Barnes and Noble name well this doesn't apply to us because we are using a Kindle ebook reader so we click known and then at this step we click known as well and here it's the program is going to ask you whether you want to keep the uh, undrm folder that this application is going to create so to keep it in the same folder as the original ebook or just move it to some other folder uh, I'm gonna say use same folder and I'm gonna click finish so now that the application is set up and ready to go we're gonna open it up again and we are going to uh, look for it so Now we are going to select a book that we want to remove the DRM from. So I'm going to select this book, Flow, and I'm going to click on Choose. And there we have it, the pop-up window that says the DDRM AppleScript has successfully DDRM one ebook. I'm gonna click thanks and now I'm gonna check on the in the finder in the very same folder we picked up the book from, which is documents and remove DRM tutorial. As you can see the application has created a second file. So it's a second book with the same title, but it it has got a different extension. Uh, in this case it has got a Mobi extension so what is left for us to do is just to drag and drop this file into the Kindle ebook reader into the documents we let it drop and there you go as you can see here I've got two books which are the same flow and flow so one of these it's the original one with the extension AZW which is this one I believe if I try to open it up it's gonna give me a message saying that this book was licensed to another device so it's not readable on this device so I'm just gonna click close and I go upwards towards this the same book but with a different file and with this DRM removed so I'm gonna click enter and as you can see it is really very readable so folks this is the end of our tutorial on how to remove DRM from Kindle ebooks and I hope you liked it I hope it's gonna be useful to you please mm, write comments suggestions and rate. Alright, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.